Hello and welcome to Track My PSA. Track My PSA is an online tool to allow you to keep a track of your own PSAs. It allows you to record your PSA levels and together with your healthcare provider, set threshold lines that you should not breach. It also allows you to record episodes such as biopsies or scans or previous treatments so you can keep a record of what's been happening. Track My PSA is not linked to your GP or to your healthcare provider. It is purely there to help you keep an eye on your own PSAs. Should you have trouble with Track My PSA, your first port of call should be your own healthcare provider or perhaps your nurse. Let's take a look at Track My PSA now. Welcome to Track My PSA. I'm going to show you how to sign in and register onto the system. First of all, let's register. So, Put your email address here. And then choose your password. Confirm your password. Put your year of birth in. And then the hospital validation code. Here you're asked whether you want to store your information about your treatment. The answer is probably likely that you do want to store it. So your current treatment, you will know whether it's radical radiotherapy, whether you've had surgery, or whether you're on an active surveillance program or on hormones. Other treatments as necessary, which may be um, HIFU, or other trial treatments. In this box you enter your PSA threshold which will have been given to you by your consultant. It would probably normally be around 10 but it is going to be variable between patients. Let's use 10 as an example. Another box allows you to remind yourself when you next need your PSA taking. Tick this box to make that applicable to you and here you can choose the date when you next need to start having your PSAs taken. When you log on to this site you will have already had some PSAs which you can enter retrospectively but for instance supposing your next PSA is due in April um, say on the 22nd that will remind you that you need to go and have that done. Here we're going to enter a three month PSA check, but of course it could be different depending on what your consultant has told you. Now if you do have a diagnosis of prostate cancer and you're using this site, you may want to record your details here. You will have been told what your Gleason score was. These were the figures that add up to a final number. So for instance, your first Gleason score might have been a four, followed by a 3. Equally it could have been a 3 plus 3 or a 3 plus 4, going up to a maximum of 5 plus 5. The stage of your cancer will have been measured by your MRI scan. So you will have been told or you can ask for the stage information and it's probably going to be T2A. Any other information includes notes to yourself, which you may like to put in here. I'm going to remind myself that there was a diagnosis made in May 2012. If you already have an initial PSA reading, check this box and fill out the details below and using the calendar screens you can put in the PSA dates and the actual values. Finally, you need to read the terms and conditions of using this website and agree by checking this box. Now we can finish. You can now enter your email address and password and sign in.
This shows the initial entries you made with your threshold level set at 8, your initial PSA was 6.5, and you're a radical radiotherapy patient. This is purely as an example. Let's now add another PSA value uh, taken in June. So your PSA has changed very slightly. The result has come back, say, at 5.4. And you can see how the graph is changing as that value is recorded. So on and so forth, as the year progresses, you will be adding extra PSA values as you have them taken. Supposing you have to have some more treatment along the way, let's add another treatment. Supposing you have to have some steroids, it could be anything, this is just an example. Your threshold is going to stay the same. And the treatment date is going to be, as an example, the 13th of April. Let's go back to the chart and see how that looks. You can see that the threshold was reset here, still at 8. You can see why it's been um, added to, because you went on to some steroid treatment on that date. And we're going to set up your PSA reminder tests now. This is a useful checkbox for reminding you when you should get your PSA taken. Choose a date that's applicable to you. Let's get our PSAs done every three months as an example. The graph has expanded slightly just to show the future dates. If in the meantime we also have an appointment to have an MRI scan, that's an event that we're going to add. The event's going to take place, for instance, in May um, on the 4th. With a choice of events here, I'm going to choose MRI scan. And it would also be quite nice if I had a reminder a couple of weeks beforehand about this event. Let's check this box. So the event is there and we go back to the chart each time just to see how things are looking. Down here you can see the little MRI symbol with a date and the bubble expanding to tell you exactly when that's going to happen. You will get an email reminder two weeks in advance to tell you when that's going to happen. If you look at the icons down the side here, you'll see that there's a selection of events for you to choose from, all of which are going to be applicable at some stage in your treatment path. Finally, let me take you to my account. This page is a summary of your disease and your treatment, but also your unique code in red here is your own personal number which allows access to somebody else to read only on the system so that they can see your information. They can't change anything, but should you wish to share the site with your GP or with your consultant at the hospital, they will be able to log in to track my PSA, enter this unique code and they will be able to see your chart. That can sometimes help rather than you having to explain everything to them. If the system needs to notify you of anything regarding your chart, you will see notifications alerts up here. So the notifications button would alert you to things like exceeding your threshold, 
So going back to your PSA chart, your red line threshold along the top here is the highest level at which your PSA is acceptable. At some point in the future, if your PSA were to start rising and then go above that threshold, the system would alert you with a message at the top of the screen explaining that you now need to go and see a healthcare professional about what's happening. And that's it. We hope you enjoy using Track My PSA. We think you'll find it a very valuable tool.